primary and nursery age students of Haima Carver Village Region 1 will now be housed in a more comfortable space following the commissioning of a newly constructed primary school. The school was reconstructed by the regional administration to the tune of over $10 million and is equipped with a ramp for persons with disabilities. Minister of Housing and Water Colin Kroll attended the commissioning ceremony on Monday and outlined the government's vision for the education sector, particularly in the hinterland regions. All the investment we can make as a government, as a region, none of it is not more important on ensuring that we invest it in the education sector. All we aspire to, firstly as parents, secondly as teachers, thirdly as leaders, is to ensure that we produce in this country persons who will take up various positions across our country, elevated by firstly by their level of studies, so that we can all have a wealthier nation. Regional Chairman Brentler Ashley said that the regional administration, with support from central government, is keen on ensuring quality education reaches every child within the region, be it through infrastructure or other support. But the people of Mariaba, the people of Haima Cabra, deserve this particular facility, this institution, which will not only enable the children of this community to have access to education, but the community as a whole will be able to have access to education. Because education is not only the formal schooling that the children are exposed to, but it's also helping the community to grow. Anthony Harris, the school's headmaster, expressed gratitude to the government for the new facility, which he says is a great improvement for the community. I am so pleased that we are in this type of building as compared to what we were functioning under at last term. This year, the sum of $4.4 billion was allocated to the Region 1 Regional Administration, of which $2.2 billion will be directed towards education delivery.